Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I uh, I wanted to show you my Britney Spears uh, tour bus. It's a little doll bus that's um, that she released in 2001. And um, yeah, I, I fi finally got one after years of looking uh, a few months back. So I figured I'll do a video and show it to you guys. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video. So this is the bus here. Um, as I said, she released this in 2001. Um, she actually released a whole bunch of things. There were quite a few dolls. I have about 34 or 35 of the dolls, and then there were a couple of cars that she released, um, a few different colors actually. Um, these little doll convertible cars that I don't have because they're too expensive. Um, so one day when they, you know, pop up for a cheap price, I'll probably pick a couple of them up. But um, this bus here, I have been searching for this for ages. It's either way too expensive, uh, one of these sealed in the box, or not even sealed, just in the box. Um, it's like four or five hundred dollars. And then to get one out of the box that is in good condition and fairly complete is a couple hundred bucks. And then occasionally, um, under a hundred dollars, you'll pick one up that's missing bits, is damaged or whatever, and uh, yeah. So it took me a while, but I finally found this one, which other than being a little scuffed, um, it isn't damaged and it does come with quite a few accessories. So yeah, I finally picked this one up a few months ago. You might have seen this uh, in the background of some of my videos, because um, I like to display it. It's a, you know, really nice display piece. I do collect these, I don't play with them. Here's a few of the dolls that I've picked up. As I said, I got about 34 or 35 of them. So I'll show you a few of the um, dolls that I have. The first one is um, the Elvis doll. Um, these dolls can go for quite a bit of money, like this one here is $150, $200, something ridiculous like that. But um, I got really lucky. A couple of years back, I um, saw a lot on eBay. Uh, it was like 19 dolls. And um, I offered 120 bucks because that was just, you know, the price back then, um, a couple of years ago. And she took it. So for 120 bucks, I got a bunch of really cool dolls, um, including this one and a few other rare ones, that now, um, for one doll, go for over $100. So um, I got really lucky back then. So, um, yeah, they're all in good condition, still sealed, and, um, yeah, so these were all released in, like, 2001. And I have a couple of Pepsi dolls, um, because she did quite a few Pepsi commercials, and, um, yeah, she released some dolls for that as well. Um, all the dolls were released with, um, outfits that she wore in music videos, performances, things like that, and commercials. And, oops, I did it again. I have a few of these, um, a few different versions of it. Um, some of them came in bigger boxes um, with more accessories and whatnot, and I've got a few of those, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you a few of these. If you want to see more of my Britney dolls, um, just let me know in the comments, because I have um, <laughs> quite a few more. So um, yeah, those are some of the dolls she released. But yes, the bus was the holy grail for me. This is the one that I really wanted. Um, one day when I win Lotto, I will probably get one in the box. But um, until then, I'm very satisfied with this one. So um, I'll take you around it. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you gotta remember, these were made to be played with. They weren't made to be collectibles. Um, and they were played with. Um, there's quite a few that pop up on eBay that are well loved. And that's good. I mean, that's that means that some kid at some point got some enjoyment out of it. But now it's just like, it's more of a collectible, and um, unfortunately, um, they come with collectible prices. So, um, yeah, really stoked to get this one. So I'll open it up. So this is the uh, interior, and these are the accessories that it came with. Um, very rarely do these come with all the accessories when they're out of the box. Um, but even rarer is for it to come with this many accessories. So um, I did really well. I paid like 70 bucks for this, which was a bargain um, compared to what you normally have to pay to get one in this condition. Uh, a big thing is um, over here at the DJ stand, um, I'll take a few close-up shots so you guys can see this. Um, the fold-out table here, that's usually missing. The CD uh, cover here, 
um, as you can see there, um, that's usually missing. So, um, yeah, and this has usually been cut off or ripped off or something. So um, to find one in this condition is just amazing. So I'll take you through it and uh, I'll take some close-up shots to give you more of a view of it um, as we go along. So we'll start with the DJ section here. So yeah, uh, it has a pop-up thing here uh, with a bit of information there. It's like a, I don't know, it's a nice little extra. It's got like a computer there and um, some, I don't know what you call that, like tape something. I don't know what that is. And then you've got little decorations in the back. I like the detail in this. Um, this doesn't have the batteries in there. Well, I haven't changed the batteries. Let's just say that. So um, I don't know if it works, but you can plug a microphone in here. And um, yeah, you can do something. I have no idea what you can do with it, but it does something. And under this little flap here, uh, it has a little spot that you can put a cartridge in there to play music out of it. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, this here, um, that doesn't do anything, that's just for the dolls, you know, just to chuck on the doll's head. Um, this lava lamp at the back here, you push this button, and that does work. Um, really rare for that to work, so I was thrilled when I uh, pushed the button and it actually turned on. So, uh, yeah, I'll turn that off. At the back here, um, we have um, some pictures at the back here, and then on this side we have some, um, you know, CD award type things, which is pretty neat. In the center here, we have a neat little TV thing, which um, you have this little picture here, but you turn this uh, purple like knob thing here, and you can actually oops, you can actually change this the picture on there, which I think is quite neat. So um, yeah, I th I think that's pretty neat. Um, it'd be awesome like if there was an actual like TV in there um, playing her music videos or something. I think that'll be pretty neat, but, um, yeah, it's still pretty good the way it is, um, you know, it's, it's little details like that that makes me think, okay, somebody actually put some thought into this. On this side here, we have a dressing table, uh, and a little cupboard here to put stuff in, and we have a drawer that you can put, like, the doll accessories in there, and up here, we have a little pop-up mirror. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. And on the side here, we have a, uh, you know, like a, a wardrobe where, you know, you put your shoes and you hang stuff. Um, it did originally come with uh, coat hangers to hang up here, but those are long since gone. So, um, yeah. Up here, we have what looks like a big window. You can see a Britney billboard there advertising a live concert. And you fold this down. And it has a bed there. And in this little accessory bag here, we have a pillow. Funny thing with this pillow is uh, I've seen one of these on eBay going for like $27 just for the pillow. And with shipping it, it's close to 50 bucks. So I just think that's ridiculous. But um, yeah, it is what it is. And that goes up there. And uh, yeah, the doll goes to sleep up there, I guess. So I'll take you through the accessories. We have a stool, which I'm guessing is for over here. And we have a lamp. Oh, hang on, that's not a lamp, that's a microphone. And that, I think, goes over here. Like that. And we have a doll brush. Um, we have a box of some kind. Looks like a shoe box originally. I'm just guessing. Uh, we have books. I think they're books. Yes, they're books. So I'll pop them in there. And we have a magazine. Nothing in there, but you know, quite a neat little picture on the front there. And we have a little thing here. So this is the US tour 2001. That's actually when this was released. We have a little Britney shopping bag. We've got two CDs. And we have what looks to be a diary.
mobile phone. I'm assuming these are accessories from the original doll that came with this boss. And then we have this, which I have no idea what that is. That's something. I don't know what it is, though. And we have a pair of shorts for a little doll. I think there used to be, like, tiny little dolls that came with these or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But that's in there, too. So these um, CDs here actually go over here into the little thing here, and you close the lid. So, um, yeah, overall, this is a really, really neat little, you know, toy, I guess you could say. But now it's a neat little collectible, so I'm really happy to finally have one in this condition. So, yeah, um, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else to show you. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I, I want to start doing more of these videos, like, not, not just showing, like, movies that I've got, because, um, yeah, my interests do extend beyond that. So, I wanted to start showing you guys a few little bits and pieces that um, I acquire that I normally don't show. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here. Till next time, ciao for now.